Thanks to the supporters of channel member links. Um, we've lost four games in a row and I'm genuinely getting a little bit worried that I might get sacked. Hello and welcome to part 24 of Born in the USA. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, um, we've got a game against Richmond Youth and also against Nova United, both in the league. Since you were last with me, it's been rotten. Just rotten time. That's rotten form. That looked all right. More rotten form. We've tried all sorts of different combinations of tactics and players. Nothing's working. We're just going back to basics today. We're going to do what we did last year to get, what, 96 points, I think we got last year with largely these players. We're just, like I say, going back to basics and we're hoping it works. I'm worried, genuinely a little bit worried. And um, we're down in 11th place and we are still only seven points off of the playoffs. So if we can put a run of games together, the season isn't completely ruined. But <clears throat> we're struggling to repair the club's financial damage. We've already failed the two cup requirements. If we end up finishing in the bottom half, genuinely a little bit worried I could get sacked. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Like I say, back to basics, 4-2-4, very familiar faces. I think every single player in that team was here last year, with the exception of Saunders. We obviously had um, Tuverfella, whose name, Kotel Yarov, whose name I could never pronounce. And But that's the only player, in, I think, in fact, was Sullivan a new signing as well? Yeah, Sullivan is the, all, the other guy who's in who's new. Um, the two of them both coming in from Fancy Pants New England up in the championship. So you'd think they were an upgrade. It hasn't really worked out that way. But we're going with Saunders in goal, a back four of Nice, Sullivan, Brook and Garlic, Don Calves and Briones in midfield, Williams and Huyan um, out wide with Stone and Hernandez up front. Uh, Jackson Hernandez is still scoring goals at roughly a goal a game. He is not the problem. The problem is, I mean, we were, we were always conceding a lot of goals, so that's not even a new problem. The problem is Hu Yan and Stone have stopped scoring goals. And some of that, I think, has to be attributed to the fact that I have been messing around with different systems. I tried a 4-4-2. I tried a 4-2-3-1. Um, I dropped Stone for a little bit. I dropped Hu Yan for a little bit. We've just fiddled too much because things have been going wrong. And I've had time to sit down, have a little ponder. We scored a goal. A seventh goal of the season for Jeff Brook. They've all looked exactly like that. But... Looking through what we've done this season, it seems it seems obvious looking at it with fresh eyes that the problem is we've done what everybody does in Football Manager. We had a couple of bad results and then compounded it by trying to fix the problem by fiddling. When what I've learned over the years is don't do that if it starts to go wrong, unless it's really obvious you're doing something wrong, just wait for the form to turn around and it will be fine. We know this team is good enough to win this league because we got very close last year and the dominant team that beat us aren't here this year. So we've already seen it. And 96 points will be enough to get to win the title this year. We won't get 96 points now because we've started too poorly. But if we can get in that kind of form for the rest of the season, we should at least be able to have a run on the playoffs and manage to grab something out of this year after all. And now we're 2-0 up. And I just, I just wish I hadn't have spent six, eight matches fiddling, trying to fix a problem that wasn't really there. We just had a couple of iffy results. Um, as it stands, if if results end as they are, we'll, we'll only be five points outside of the playoffs after this. So if we can win our second game as well, we could be well back in the mix and all of a sudden not have any, anything to worry about at all, really. Uh, but there's always the worry that we're going to let Richmond back into the, tea, uh, back into the uh, match because confidence is low, morale is low, form is horrific. And all these things are so very important in Football Manager. Um, clearance from them, um, which Sullivan's tried to deal with, but hasn't. But luckily, Brooke is in there to cover. And now Nice playing it forward. And Hernandez is in again here. Jackson Hernandez, weird first touch, but he's Jackson Hernandez. It doesn't matter what his first touch is. His second touch is going to be deadly. And it's 3-0, two for him today now. And it feels like watching the Bourne of last year again, mainly because it pretty much is the Bourne of last year. We've gone back to last season's tactic, with largely last season's players, and who'd have thought we've returned to last season's form? Why do I do the things that I do to get myself into these pickles? Goodness me. But we are happy with how things are going. Let's uh, tickle everybody's tummies at half time and hopefully 
continue in this excellent form going into the second half. And I'm not sure where Richmond are in the league. It's not really mattered that they're 16th. That's not really mattered this year because everyone's been beating us from all sorts of different areas of the league. So I'm not too worried about, oh, they're, they're down in 16th. Maybe we'll be rubbish when we play against someone any good. We're 4-0 up now. This is going to be a huge confidence boost, which we can then take into the next game and the next game and the next game. And hopefully by tomorrow's episode, we'll be back up in the top three, top four again. Maybe even flirting with the idea of winning the league after all. Although I do think we're so far behind already that we might have already ruled ourselves out of being able to do that. But you know how you know how I can mood swing. <laughs> we're four 0 up. We can achieve anything now. That is a really poor piece of goalkeeping there. I mean, he's not had much luck because of how it's still spun off into the top corner. But really, he's got it's it's effectively straight out. I know there's a lot of spin on it, but just save it. You've got a hand to it. Why are you not just pushing that up over the crossbar? Why is it hitting him and squirming off awkwardly like that? It's straight at him. Two hands above your head. You can catch that. Never mind pushing it over the crossbar. That was catchable. That's poor goalkeeping. Uh, right. Substitution. Stone still not really turned up. So Sanchez can come on for him. And Sanchez is a different kind of player. See, it's weird because he's supposedly good at it, but then he's not good at it. Um, I'll, um, I'll just make him a complete forward anyway. Um, and then Hu Yan again has not turned up. It is, they're, they're the problem. Those two are the issue. I don't know what it is, but they're just not doing it this year. Even though they were, they must have scored 35, 40 goals between them last year. Were fantastic all year. And this time around, it's just the pair of them have fallen out of form at the same time. And it's caused a huge amount of problem for us. Uh, but we are not throwing this away, luckily. In fact, Hernandez with a with a late corner trying to add a fifth. And it ends up back with Hernandez on this right-hand side again. But his second attempt at a cross is roughly as poor as the first one was. And now Richmond have got the opportunity for a counter-attack. This does feel like the born of last year now. Dominate a game, but concede a couple of goals late on just to keep things interesting. That was basically our modus operandi all year last season. Sanchez now looking for a breakaway of our own. A couple of minutes left. The opportunity for a fifth. The opportunity for a hat-trick for Hernandez. If we can find him, cross comes over. We don't find him. Briones is going to pick the ball up on the edge of the area. And then Goncalves plays it all the way back to Brook. Sanchez trying to get in again, but can't. And uh, I think we're just waiting for the final whistle now, boys and girls. Um, that is a pretty poor piece of defending there. From I think that's Brooke, who's just let the guy run past him. I don't really know why the game is giving us so many highlights at the end here when we're three goals to the good. It's not like, even if there is a goal, it's not like it's going to be a difference maker to the result. It's a very odd one. Uh, Goncalves to Sanchez to Hernandez. Torres! And it's wide. Uh, by the way, I am seeing you all in the comments telling me it's Goncalves and not Goncalves. Uh, he's been here over a year. He's gone Calvis now. He always will be. It's like the Cerner Jackie thing last year at Bourne. The amount of people telling me it's, he's not pronounced Cerner Jackie. You can't just change the way a man's name is said after a year. He's gone Calvis. He loves it. It's what he told me he wants to be called. doesn't matter how most people with that name would say it. His family say gone Calvis. I got it from the horse's mouth. Um, we've won 4-1, boys and girls. Lovely old stuff. Hopefully we can do a similar thing again in the second match and get ourselves back where we're supposed to be in the promotion mix for this season. Just the one change for the Nova United game, then Maldonado coming back in at left back. He's good at crossing Maldonado. That's why we like him in there. Um, we've also made two other changes. We haven't made two other changes. Have we? Oh, it's because we made, we played a friendly. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I haven't made any other changes from the last game. But there were two other changes that we played a friendly in between. That's just that was just designed deliberately to confuse me. I think. Um, right, pick up where you left off last time out. Um, yeah, you know we've got to exploit everything. Let's get a friendly in during. It wasn't an international breaks. We're in tier eight. It was a everyone else is playing in the cups that we're already knocked out of. They are some bright green seats, beautiful stuff. Um, so I figured we'd play a friendly, um, which we picked up a comfortable win in. And fingers crossed, we uh, we carry the form from now back-to-back -back wins into another win here. And that fixes the morale and we start to charge back up the table. There's a lot of very bright green at this ground, which is weird, considering the team themselves don't appear to be wearing green. So, 
I guess this must be somebody else's stadium because the uh, the trim on all the buildings is green, the seats are green. This must be like a high school stadium or something. You get a lot of that in America, don't you? And this will be a high school stadium and they like really bright greens. Hernandez is in here. Surely. No. A save with the foot as well. It never feels like a proper save when a goalkeeper uses a foot. They shouldn't be allowed to use them. Even that bench is bright green. As Brook just hit the crossbar, Brooks scored again. An eighth goal of the season now for Jeff Brook. He doesn't really do it when you like, aren't watching, by the way. He's very much one who turns it on for the cameras. Uh, but he is a massive goal threat from these set pieces. It's the in-swinger from Hernandez. Brook there with the initial header that comes back off the post. And he's there for the tap-in. Stone was there as well. And part of me wishes Brook had just got out of the way and let Stone have the tap-in, get a goal for him, get him back into any kind of form. Uh, but Brook's not having any of it. Brook wants his eighth goal of the season, rightly so. He is, um, I think he's our second top goal scorer currently from centre-back and all from set pieces. I love a goal-scoring centre-back. It's like Brezanio at Chivas last year all over again. Right, Nova are trying to uh, get an attack going of their own. Very conscious of the fact that I just thought I'll do a sneaky little pause, a little sneaky jump cut, have a little sip of water. I'll be fine. I've poured it all down my beard, all down my tie. And now we've conceded a goal because I'm basically sat here in a flood. Ridiculous. I probably didn't. I'm a tiny little box in the corner of the screen. I probably didn't need to tell you. Other than the fact that every time I speak, I feel like I'm spraying water, Triple H style. It's going everywhere. Um, that is poor goalkeeping again from Saunders. I am a little bit worried that he might be the problem. And it's not really a problem we can solve. Cottle the Arrow has left the club. We were perhaps a little bit premature moving on our all-time record appearance holder to replace him with a fancy new goalkeeper from the higher leagues. Huyan! No, he scores that last year. It's not just the goalkeeper that's the problem. Stone and Huyan are still troublesome. Although Huyan's actually got a decent rating today, so hopefully a goal will come for him. And he can... Uh, did I just burp? Mid-word... Don't drink what that I'm I apologize profusely that I've now drunk so much water that a little burp snuck out in the middle of a word. I'm 38 years old and I don't think I've ever burped in the middle of a word before. Good luck editing that out, future Kev. It was the middle of a sentence and a highlight. Unless that was the most disgusting thing you've ever heard, it's gotta stay in. Ugh. Especially now I'm talking about it so much. Hu Yan again with a wild shot from I mean that makes me want to burp again. That was terrible. Eight points behind the Houston Dutch Lions as things stand. I think they're the Dutch Lions. Um, point the finger. Get out there. Do more football. Come on. Um, right. It is Nova with the uh, with the first highlight of this second half. And they've they've been a much sterner opponent than the one we had in the last game. But we are three on two here. The only problem is two of our three are Stone and Huyan. And that's the kind of form that they're in. Huyan, bless him, he is trying to get himself back into form. It's not like he's afraid to shoot or afraid to try anything. What was that? Stone plays Huyan in again. Huyan, surely this time, no, at least it's on target, forces the save this time, and we've got a corner, and it's going to be Hernandez going across the take again, looking for Brook, which is, I mean, this is our main route to goal at the moment, and Brook forces the save from the goalkeeper. It's going to come over for another corner, and this time it's going to be Williams looking for the in-swinger from this left-hand side. Again, looking to aim at Brook, but doesn't get anywhere near him. And Hu Yan now picks the ball up on the edge of the area. Floats one in, looking for Hernandez, but it's ever so slightly over here. That was much more like it from Hu Yan. That's the kind of, kind of lovely little touch that we came to expect from him last year. And that was very nearly a perfect pass into the path of Jackson Hernandez. Garlic now playing it forward to Stone. Stone is in here with the effort. Oh, it's gone in! Oh, we said we needed one that just kind of fluked its way in. The goalkeeper makes the save. Does not get enough on it, though. And it's snuck just inside that post. And that could be the goal that gets Stephen Stone back into some form. It's his seventh for the season, so it's not like he's been terrible all year. He's just been pretty, pretty poor while we've been pretty poor on this current run. But that is exactly what, what he needed, it's exactly what we needed. It's put us back ahead in the game and put us back in the mix, looking to uh, looking to move up the league. Um, although Nova trying to get straight back into the game again, and they have. Cody Comfort has just scored for them. No comfort for me, was it? It's the opposite of comfort. 2-2 two, two now. 
we're just far too sloppy defensively. And we have been forever. We just need to learn to defend. Ah. Oh. Considering Brooke is such a threat from the air at the other end, he doesn't defend with his head at all, does he? Saunders now with the goal kick. It's a weird one, um, but we've made something of it. Williams releases Hernandez. Now Brioni's getting forward. And that's a terrible pass looking for Goncalves, though. And it's given Nova the opportunity to counter-attack against us again. They've got a man over on this right-hand side. We need to get this clear. Sullivan sort of does. Maldonado to Williams. Williams has had some amazing touches today. Plays it into the path of Hernandez. He's got no one supporting him, really. Apart from Stone, there's a big deflection in there again. But this time, it ends up off the post from Stone. But Stone looks dangerous again, which is... I mean, that's one good thing to come out of this game. Even if we don't end up winning it. If we can get Stone back in some kind of form, then we just need to get Hu Yan back in some form and we'll be fine. Hernandez now, he's in again, squares it for Stone and he scores again. An eighth goal of the season for Steven Stone. He's back, boys and girls. Now all focus is on Hu Yan, who has had a good game. He's on a seven so far. The entire front four have played well today. It's just the defence letting us down as usual. Um, confirmation there that as things stand, that'll move us up to eighth place. We'll get a look at the full league table in a second. Um, so eighth place, six points behind Core Valley in third place. Also six points behind the Houston Dutch Lions. Baltimore are so far ahead. I think any chance we had of automatic promotion is probably already gone unless we win every game for the rest of the season and they just collapse, which seems pretty unlikely on two fronts, really. Um, but we... Uh, We've got a chance for these playoffs. We've got God knows Macopas coming on. He hasn't really played much for us so far. I mean, he doesn't really fit into this system. He wants to be more of an attacking central midfield player. And we don't really use one. We played him a couple of times as the attacking midfielder when we were using one. And he wasn't great. So I'm not really sold on him yet. I like Briones and Goncalves as a midfield too. But Macopas our highest paid player at the club. We need to get some games into him. Comfort's in again. And was that a tackle? Maldonado getting the tackle in to save it at 3-2 for us. Corner floats in. Saunders is there to collect. If we can grab another goal now, that would be very handy just to shut this game down. Um, Core Valley are dropping points now. That gap is closed down to five, which is huge. Five points is easily catchable. Maldonado with the throw. It's a poor one. And now we've got to uh, weather one final storm from Nova. There's 30 seconds-ish left on the clock. On Cowboys is in with the tackle, though. And hopefully he can get a counter-attack of our own going here. He plays it forward to Hernandez, who nods it down to Williams. Williams playing it across to Sanchez, who's on for Hu Yan now. Uh, Sanchez playing it back across, looking for Maldonado, who does manage to win the ball. Williams is in. Williams has had a really good game today and deserves a goal. Um, he didn't get it there. But with five seconds left, I'd like to think we're not going to concede one either. Although, Comfort is in again, shooting from range. And luckily, that shot was pathetic. So, we're all right. And I think that should be final whistle on an episode that has delivered us two wins. Even though we've made this second one look an awful lot harder than it needed to be. But I think it is going to be two wins from two. And that should start to propel us back up the league again. And fingers crossed, like I say, if that's given us some momentum, we should be back in the promotion mix by the time we get into tomorrow's episode. We're just waiting for everything to ever so slowly tick over. We need to get into the higher tiers of this league so we can turn some of the lower ones off because the save is already starting to slow down because it's such a large file. Um, but we're up to ninth. Let's just look at the league table. We're up to ninth. Five points behind Core Valley. And we will be back... To play Core Valley, I think. We'll do Core Valley and the Houston Dutch Lions because they're second and third. Um, so they'll be our two matches in tomorrow's video. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.